I don't know why, but Zone Kitty always likes jumping on top of this bookcase, up here, and crying at me. Not very effective, other than I tell him to be quiet, but... Yeah. We have come to the aftermath of the role-playing campaign. Look as we see these refuse artifacts around the table. Gaze your eyes on such a crude drawing of... This looks to be an ancient version of a map. Look at the bad, crude handwriting. Ooh. These hexes. I wonder if they mean something. Some type of ritual involved? Must be a fertility ritual. So, anyway. Hi, everybody. Um, I just finished role-playing. I just got my friends out of the room. And this is actually my role-playing setup. Um, back there is my print of the um, questionable content role-playing group. I quite like it. You could probably hear us in crying because it's that time. Um, role-playing computer back there. That's actually what we Skype from. Uh, you can see the webcam. This is the webcam I use when I stream video games also. Uh, monitor. Widescreen. That way I can see both players at once. Got microphones stored over here, because our quiet players usually sit in those two spots. Um, and our loud player sits over there. Laptop. Got the dry erase markers, so I can use the green board for initiatives or quick maps or anything like that. Got some note cards. There's actually a package of note cards that was under the green board that I can write up items and such. Um, Looks like some dice were left over from the loner dice. These are the loner dice. They're the dice that are cursed. No, actually, they're just the spare dice that I had that didn't really <clears throat> didn't really match my color scheme for my normal dice. So since I had so many dice and they weren't all going to fit in my dice bag anyway, I decided eh, might as well just put them all in a separate container and call them loner dice. Also, anybody's dice that get left here end up in the loner dice. My own dice bag is here, standing up tall. Um, my beloved actually made this dice bag for me, and it's very precious to me. This is actually my previous dice bag, also made by my beloved. So this dice bag has a zipper, which is an awesome, awesome concept for dice bags. And, well, it's a bunch of dice inside. Surprise, surprise, I know. Uh, let's see... Not really much else to say about the role-playing setup, and I'm keeping this one fairly short because, well, I need sleep. It is fairly late. I have been running games all day, which is the reason why my voice is a little off. I've been speaking way too much. Also, Zone Kitty would like me to, you know, go to bed, give him attention. Not necessarily in that order. It's okay, Zone Kitty. So, every Wednesday night at this point, I basically get up with my nerdy friends and play as wizards, as knights, as snipers, and basically we roleplay. Um, most of our roleplaying games are either of the standard medieval high fantasy type, or um, in the games that I run, I tend to run more of a modern-ish fantasy. Uh, it depends on location, the world, time period, and so on. But fantasy stuff. And this is one of the ways that I get away from things. This is my form of relaxation, even though it tends to hurt my throat quite a bit. It's okay, Zone Kitty. Everything's fine. Now you see what I go through when it comes to my cats crying constantly. Zone. Calm down. So... I have the same group of friends in general that also do board gaming for Friday nights and a somewhat similar group of friends that do board gaming on Sunday nights and these are the things that let me be me. I can act out at different roles. It's kind of, I mentioned this in the depression video. I kind of pretend to be somebody else whenever I'm needing to do something so I present a different version of myself. This is kind of where I got that experience from. Uh, between this and acting, which I've been doing this longer than I've been doing regular stage acting, 
or directing or stage managing or anything dealing with theater. And really, role playing is not that different other than I don't have a script. And sometimes I'm also the director. It's a bit of a ramble, I know, but I needed a record a vlog. Tomorrow's vlog will probably be more of the video gaming variety. We'll see what happens. Um, also, if you're not subscribed to me, or excuse me, also, if you're subscribed to me, you may have noticed that I recorded a video of Zelliard in actual CGA. I don't think anybody but myself and the one person that asked for it would be interested in it, but feel free to take a look. I'll put a link in the description. I didn't bother posting it on Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr, because seriously, it's Zelliard in CGA. I don't think anybody cares, but, well, a couple people do at least. Good night. I still need to edit the previous video. Oh, I want sleep. I may just delay the upload of the video until tomorrow. Good night.